This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations, everyone. Previously, Marty made a very big theory where that Sheena is yes, actually yes, Callisto that's right, you. That's right. Never mind the fact that she has completely different hair color, eye color, skin color, and complexions. It, you know what? <laughs> no. You know what? It's spies. Anybody can do anything. They can do a reverse spray tan. Ugh. What is up with that guy's face? <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the, the... Not the handcuffs, but he's like, oh boy. <laughs> he's holding his hands. He's that's... holding his hands. <laughs> but seriously, okay. So Marty's theory is that Callisto you escaped from the courtroom. Yeah, she Went, did. Smocked herself in her basement for seven years to get really pale. Or uh, wore a wig, like, got red contacts, somehow got rid of the freckles on her face. Like you went can up, do that? went up, up, went up to the top Interpol agent. Is like, hello, I am Sheena from Russia. I want to join your team. And he's like, no, you're you my climb, number two now. Okay, you climb the ranks. This, that was seven years ago, Artie. <laughs> you climb the ranks. You get it. You have connections because you are the Yakuza, and you get connections to you get into- You are the Yakuza. Yeah. <laughs> this is this might That's be my favorite of your theories, honestly. Seriously, it could <laughs> totally work. Kay, are you all right? You believe me, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? You don't think I did it, right? Yes, of course I don't. And I promise to prove that it wasn't you. That's enough chit chat. You can investigate all you like, but it's only a matter of time before we take her in. It would be wise of you to give up while you can. No, I don't think so. Kay isn't lying, and my investigation will prove that to be true. Go ahead and try then, if you're that confident. I can't allow this to continue on this way. I must prove her innocence post-haste. Post-haste? Jolly good. Yes, sir! What's up? While you were on guard duty, did you notice anything unusual? Well, I was on watch inside the embassy, but unfortunately I didn't run into the Yadagarasu, sir. But I did talk to an officer who was on duty near the border between the two embassies. Who told me that not a single person crossed the boundary during the incident. I see. The investigations into the fire in the Yada Grasu are a mess thanks to both events. I'm so confused, sir. Should I be putting the fire out or investigating? What do you think, sir? Aren't you old enough to solve your own problems yet, detective? Yeesh. I'd like an update on how the investigation is going. Oh yeah. Well, it's going, sir. In other words, no one has any idea of what happened here, correct? To put it simply, yeah, you got it, sir. But we do know that something happened in this room, sir. Any moron with a pair of eyes can see what happened, detective. Oh. Well, anyway, let's investigate every single nook and cranny in this room, sir. We have to get serious or Kay will end up getting arrested as the killer. She is under 18, right? She's 16, yeah. Yeah, so regardless, even if she is the killer, uh, she will go off decently free. If, I mean, if, she, if it's first degree murder and you're 16, you're gonna get jail time for well, sure. Well, yeah, but like, not as bad as if you're over 18. Right. Okay, cool. Yes, I'm already well aware of that. Oh, in order to find out what really happened here in this room, we will need to gather whatever information we can. It's time to take a good look. Okay. Also, is Francisca on our side? She's, uh, we're working as her subordinate right now. Because oh. that was the only way we could investigate. Well, the weirdo is just, ugh. <laughs> so close to her. Miles Edgeworth. What is it? Let me tell you something. You are currently my subordinate. And if you wish to convince everyone else of that, you will speak to me with respect. What's with the giddy glint in her eyes? I don't think that will really be necessary, Francisca. Oh, really? Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that you're still under me. I thought Francisca was flying around the world in pursuit of the smuggling case. So then why is she here at this embassy? Well, maybe this is her place. Like, she's flying around the world in search of the smuggling ring. Maybe she was like, ooh, here. Yeah. I was investigating at the... Alabastion. Alabastion? Oh, it's like It's like Alabastion, but okay, without okay. the H. I was investigating at the Alabastion's embassy when I got a wind of this mess. Ah, uh, that's right. The Yadagarasu was due to appear at that embassy as well. Yes, but the difference is that we didn't have a fire over there. Although, there was an incident at the Alabastion embassy as well. But I left Agent Lang in charge of that case and came over to the Babali's... Babali. Babali's embassy. Ah. Uh. Oh, so Agent Lane is here, here as well, huh? I see you've met. 
Well, he's in the Alabastian Embassy acting as bodyguard for Ambassador Alba. However, he seems to have a different reason for being there. Interesting. So the suspect in this murder that occurred in the office is the little girl I see. Is she, perhaps, trying to be the Yadagarasu? Kate would never harm a soul, sir! Wait, doesn't she re- Kay. What? I guess she does remember her, then. Mm -hmm. You remember, do you not? About the case we investigated together seven years ago? That girl is the daughter of the victim in that case, Mr. Faraday. So she's that feisty little girl. Kay has been on the trail of the Yadagarasu, which is how she ended up here. Looking for the one who took her father's life. I see. Kay's trying so hard, but you know what? The Yadagarasu just keeps tricking us all! Hmm? How so? The Yadagarasu sent a card saying, I will be there to steal your dirtiest secret. What if Kay's just literally been telling us the truth the whole time? She's like, yeah guys, I'm the Yadagarasu, take that! <laughs> and she's <laughs> close to you. <laughs> No, that wouldn't that wouldn't make any sense. That would be a different theory from my Callisto U theory. Oh. But we've all had all we've had is an arson and a murder. The lab boys are going in circles. You know what this is, sirs? It's a breach of contract, and it's going on the rap sheet. If you ask me, I'm perfectly fine with the fact that nothing was stolen tonight. I do wonder though, if Callisto U really is the Yadagarasu. Why would she take the blame for anyone else? Who who was she? Relate. What if, um, Mandy Cochin? Mandy Cochin? Mandy Manny Cochin. Cochin's I keep, wife. I keep thinking of, um, Handy Manny. That's Handy Manny Handy, Cochin. Handy Manny Cochin. Anyway, what if he was the autograph? Ugh. <laughs> what? He looks like. He looks like Hunchback meets, um,. Oh, what's his face from Fire Emblem Fates? I don't he's know. Got, um, uh, he's this guy. He turns into a fox. I can't remember his name, but he's like. But only when he touches the stink stone. Stink stone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's like that game's like I'm a pretty animal and I'm better than everyone else, and you're gonna abandon all the cavaliers so you can use me. <laughs> Basically, unless you're like the high tier Fire Emblem players who are cavaliers way better than everyone. Cavaliers everybody. suck. <laughs> you just offended the whole Fire well, Emblem okay, community. Okay, correction. There's one that's okay, and there's one that sucks. And you pick the one that's okay. <laughs> I can't believe that Manny fell among thieves tonight. Oh, wait, he's dead! Never mind, he can't yeah. be the Autogarasu. <laughs> Without him, I have no idea what my schedule for tonight is. Um. Ambassador Peleno, I believe your schedule tonight will be consisting of... Listening to reports from the police. That and only that. I ask you to cooperate not only for your sake, but for Mr. Cochin's as well. Oh, there he goes, he sat up. You're a rather strong man, aren't you? How fascinating! Here, I know it isn't much, but I'd like you to have these. How? I'm sorry, but it would be against my principles to accept a bribe. Oh no no! These are simply coupons we distribute to promote Babal. Remember, we offer a large number of discounts and offers when you visit lovely Babal. Now I remember, the Republic of Babal is known for its feverish tourism industry. Did you know that Walt Disney World Babal is opening here in a few that days? That would be hilarious. <laughs> okay, question. For, for Look at my... that smile. How right. could you doubt right. that smile? So I'm looking at that. How old is Gant in relation to this case? Okay, okay, let me think about it. So in the first game, Gant was like 64, I think. 64. 65 or something. 65. So he would be like 67, 68 in this. This is after that. This is after the Gant case. Okay, never mind. Were you thinking this is Gant? Maybe. I mean, but he, he doesn't have enough. Same... He doesn't have enough dimples or wrinkles. He, well, that can come with age. That can come with, with terror. Two, eight, two years later, I have ten <laughs> dimples. <laughs> I have no, ten. He's got. He's got the weird like I'm a happy guy, clapping my hands. Oh, joyous occasion. He's Gant's let us, son. Let us drink brandy and like. Maybe. And then, um, you know, he could just, like, betray everyone. The more, the, the more I look at that smile, the more unnerved I am. The, the republics are kind of at, they're not at war, but they're, like, enemies with each other, right? It would make sense that the they're, other... They're not at... They're, they're trying to make amends, though. But they definitely still have, like... The, the, the rivalry. The rivalry. If they had a bus, there would be one section for one population, one section for another population. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. The, that, the more I look at it, the more his smile is, like, soars. <laughs> oh, he's got a butterfly on his shirt. Yeah, because that's the symbol of the ball. Right, right, right. Okay. I was wondering if you might tell me a bit about the deceased Manny Cochin. Siblings? He, he was my secretary and the embassy secretariat, charged with running the whole place. 
spies are terrifying. He was an admirable man. His death is a great loss to our country. He was in charge of everything. Accounting, printing, taking care of our national treasures. Um, why would you even trust Creepy Boy to do why that? Why would you trust Manny? <laughs> Manny Cochin should not be in charge of taking care of the national treasures. Or accounting. <laughs> yeah. He's like a creep. I'm sorry, but did you say printing? That's the thing you were focused on? Our country's primary source of revenue is our tourism industry. So in order for us to print the necessary pamphlets, flyers, coupons, etc., we have a printing press here at our embassy. I see. Please excuse my forwardness, but however, I feel I should mention that I have a distinct impression that I've met him before. Oh, yes. Sweat. Uh, since you are of the legal profession, I suppose you just might have. After all, Manny was involved in the KG-8 incident. How do you the, know that? The KG-8 incident? How does he know that? Well, before hiring someone, well, Manny, coach him. We're, we're very impressed with your resume, but we got to do the Google search background check. To, oh, he the was... Google search background check? This is way before the internet. Okay, the background check, then. It's the like, background check. Oh, man, he was like, he was like heavily implied to be he, the murderer was, for that he one. He was in newspapers. Yeah. Okay, okay. So they would definitely know about that. Uh, the defendant who was found innocent in that case was Manny. That's the face of an innocent man. <laughs> yeah, that's the face of an innocent man. And then there's... Not Callisto, you. CCU. CCU. I mean, they could be related. Maybe he was the one who got her this position in Inter Interpol. Oh. That could work. You are just the term to be she is. She is. Like, it, it has to be. I don't know how else it could go. <laughs> we meet. It's like, we like, it's like there's a random woman walking around. It's like, I'm Molisto Mew. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, that's actually. Like the Pokemon Mew. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So your Mr. Cochin is the same man as the one in that case. No, it's a different Manny Cochin. It's a very common name. It's been 10 years. Manny recovered personally from that case and dro dove enthusiastically into this job. Huh. He was the one who planned this event and was to oversee the embassy's renovation. It really is a shame. He had such a bright future ahead of him, even though he looked like he was 50 years old. He looked so <laughs> dead. What exactly did you mean earlier by renovations? We can't have tourists and visitors to our embassy think we're a poor nation, can we? So renovating the embassy is something of an investment. We may have a rather paltry budget, but we're trying our best to make do. However, I guess the only person who could have helped us do our best is now no longer with us. Well, it's okay. new people. Goodbye. Hang on. Uh, did you know that I'm a prosecutor? Oh, is that a prosecutor's badge? It has a very cool design. Aha! I know! We should start selling items like this as souvenirs in Babal. The tourists will absolutely go nuts over them. Please don't compare a proud symbol of my profession to a cheap souvenir. <laughs> He'll sit the Steel Samurai's autograph. I'll present that to him. Ambassador Peleno, I was wondering if you might have some thoughts on this. I think that you would know more about the case than I. Let me make it up to you for not knowing anything about the, that with these coupons. Thank you. However, I feel I must decline. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. We can't present profiles in this. How old uh, is this guy? He is Kalias Polano, 37. How old is Manny Cochin in comparison? He's 31. Oh, my, he looks, go back and like, forth he looks like death. Go back and forth between them. Oh, never mind. Never he has mind. a way darker skin color. Yeah. Are you like actually the real guy? I thought died. they no. I thought they looked like brothers. <laughs> Bird farting. Calisto, you. Is, she's twenty nine now. She has like she has the epitome of the lips from me maker, where it's like, do you want the weird like one dot lips? <laughs> That's Callisto use lips. The one dot lips. You know exactly what I mean yeah, when I, I say that. It looks like this was once a grand grandfather clock, but it has fallen victim to the fire. Hey, Mr. Edgeworth, is it okay for me to talk about the clocks in my house, sir? Do you have any? If they're unrelated to the case, I hope that you will refrain from sharing, but... Well, there's this one clock that I made by myself, but the timer on it may just... That's quite enough, detective. Poor, wow. Poor dude. Is there a bear? Uh, maybe. I think there is. These shelves are lined with American souvenirs and memorabilia. It's really strange, isn't it? I mean, I thought this was the Babalese Embassy. So, um, why are there so many American souvenirs, sir? Perhaps the Babalis are studying American culture and they love us and uh, our tourism industry. Yeah, Disney does great. Yeah, they're like, oh, Disney World is amazing. We need one in Babal. Disney is like the epitome of, like, we made this movie. 
and we put a character in that's in it for two seconds so we can sell a lot of merchandise with this character because it's so cute. Elsa's horse. Elsa's horse. Um, the weird gecko thing. Oh yeah, the, the fire the gecko. The fire gecko that's like- Fire <laughs> salamander. Sa salamander. Cause, sa Cause salamanders really like fire. Yeah. If they have plans to make the Babali's tourism industry truly flourish by putting Disney World in, then they would need to observe and study other countries' Disney World's methods, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of tourism, I got these from the blonde guy earlier, sir. He said that if I bring these to me with me to Babal, I can trade them in for a few buffets. A few? A few? That's Dang, really that's really nice. Oh, so how do you expect to travel to Babal? Oh, can we use them in the embassy? Do they have, like, Burger King in the Babali's <laughs> embassy? I mean, free Burger King. It's better than nothing. I, I mean, guess. and for him especially. <laughs> well, the whole world is connected by oceans, sir. And well, we can travel by map. And for an all-you-can-eat buffet, I'd swim all the way to Babal if I have to. Can a few simple coupons really motivate people to do such fantastic things? Gumshoe sure can. Yes, he fair. That's a coat. No! Really? What, right what to, part of that right is next to, bear? Right next to Gumshoe. Oh, I you took with the coat That's up. not a bear! I know, that was my point. No, it's right next to Gumshoe. Mr. Yeah. Edgeworth, there's still something on this display rack, sir. Knives, huh? <laughs> Although the blades are all that remains of them, unfortunately. I guess the handles all got burnt off by the fire. Ah, uh, so even the knives fell victim to the fire. Ambassador Pileno, are these knives yours? Why, yes, they are. They are a special set of ornamental knives featuring the national symbol of Baba. He's like, I was in an old reject Fire Emblem game as a thief with two <laughs> knives. <laughs> that like holds them backwards, so like, eesh, eesh. You know how like Matthew holds his knife oh, backwards? Yeah. Well, <laughs> kind of. Wait, no, he doesn't. He holds them forwards. Oh, it's Gaius. Gaius holds them backwards. Yeah, the, the, the <laughs> awakening thieves and assassins hold them backwards. There you go. These butterfly themed knives, along with Alabast's own set of knives, are comprised of three knives each. But, but I can't believe that the Babalis ones have been reduced to this state. Hmm, ornamental knives, huh? Yeah. Hmm, there's a small release on the tain of this blade. Ambassador Paleno, what is this notch here for? Oh, that! It's a feature of these knives wherein you can freely exchange the handles on them. So that we can change how they look to fit the situation, of course. I see. So these knives were constructed so that the handles could be easily removed. Huh, okay. Because this is a national treasure, can I ask that you please not touch it? At least it didn't burn in the fire. I, I'm afraid the only ones allowed to touch it are myself and the Secretariat. Oh, but this is, there is a possibility of that it is related to the murder, wouldn't you agree? Hey Mr. Edgeworth, why don't we give up for now? We can force them to let us investigate it later when we find some solid proof. I suppose I don't have a choice here. This must be one of the Primadu statues Kay was talking about earlier. Here's the thing that I don't understand. If the handles actually burn in the fire, wouldn't this entire room just be disintegrated? It's not made it of wood. Been, it's not it made of wood. Fire in very specific spots. <laughs> maybe someone just torched the knives. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Is it just me, or does this man look like he the great steel samurai? They could be twins. Baba, Babal's Primadu statue do, jotted down into the organizer. The Phoenix Wright artists could only draw samurais. This ceiling fan must have fallen from the ceiling. Yep. Brilliant. A ceiling fan? What does one of those do? Exactly what it sounds like it does. It's a fan that is installed on one ceiling. Well, if I had one of those in my room, I bet I'd go dizzy from staring at it as, as I slept. Detective Gumshoe, in the real world, we close our eyes when we sleep. Oh, there's a- there's a guy. This is Manny Cochin's dead no, body. No, I meant- I meant the other guy. On the other side. There was a- Oh, yeah, there's there, 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 there. So our victim was the secretariat of this embassy, I take it. Manny Cochin. I heard that he was an admirable person. Very admirable. I heard he was a murderer. Very much a murderer. <laughs> Very much a murderer. <laughs> the cause of death is a stab to the base of his neck. He was lax in watching his back. We were fortunate that the fire missed our victim's body for the most part. If the fire had burned a bit longer, it would have made identifying him a hassle. It also would have made the game rated M. <laughs> that too. So Mr. Cochin was stabbed to death in the middle of a raging fire. He was also on the carpet. <laughs> can, what, fi can a carpet be set on fire? Yeah. Just play The Sims. <laughs> it can? Yeah. Wait, but I thought, like, people would roll in the carpet to get the flames off of them. They can, you can't... they can whack it to cut off the oxygen supply. Oh. Cause see, I thought- Cause fire needs oxygen to burn. Right, 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 right. But I thought that what you would do 
you know, like stop, drop, and roll yeah. and all that? I thought that also if you took a carpet and wrapped it around you if you were in flames or your hair was on fire, then it would like cut out the flames. Because you are cutting off the oxygen. But if carpet can catch on fire, then that's pretty useless. But it still, needs, it still needs oxygen to burn. What in the world happened inside this room? Notes on Cochin's body, they jotted down in the organizer. <laughs> so it's like, well, how did Cochin die? It's like, co like in the Battle of the Fire, I killed, killed. Mufasa. Well, there's a knife. Scarf stabs him with him. There's a knife with a handle on it, so let's check that out. Is this knife the murder weapon? Some preliminary testing has been conducted. According to the results on the blood, that the blood matches the victim's blood. The blade shape was also found to be consistent with the stab wound. Look at that! See? She looks exactly like Callisto You. She looks nothing like she's Callisto You. She's super Yu. skinny and has the That's exact half the same... girls in this. No, but she's like super skinny like That's Callisto That's half Yu. the girls in this. No! That is not the case! She's like a stick and then <laughs> like her face is the exact same shape. All she has to do is just put in red contacts, which you can buy, uh, put on a wig, and then find an outfit from a Fire Emblem cosplay, and then you're good to go. Like, seriously. And magically change your skin color and complexion. You can do that. Like, okay, there are ways to do that. You can... If there's tanning lotion... She has different lips! Maybe she permanently holds her lips together like... That would get tired. Well, maybe she has... Her nose is bigger! She has a lot of tension. Okay, I don't remember what her nose looks like. <laughs> I suppose this means that we now know that the crime was committed with this knife. This knife's got some really fancy ornamentation going on, huh, sir? Didn't catch on fire. This fiend practically screams artsy at me, too. Although, it's also covered in blood, just like the last fiend I said was artsy. Hmm, but the handle is pristine. There's not a single drop of blood on it. Speaking of the handle, I believe it has a butterfly motif. It's very beautiful. Knife data jotted down in my organizer. Manny Cochin. I've seen him before. He was the suspect in the KG8 incident. Yeah, nobody cares. And I saw him talking with the elder sister of the victim of that case, Miss Callisto Yu. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if there's a connection between his murder and the KG8 incident. She's like, I want him dead. He's a creep. Tried to ask me out. Gosh. <laughs> hmm? There appears to be something in his pocket. Drumstick? This key! It can't oh, be! Never mind, not a drumstick! <laughs> Isn't this the Yadagarasu's key that was stolen seven years ago? What? But that's... Huh? Seven years ago? Oh! You mean that case where I was framed, sir? Yes, it's the piece of evidence that stole the life of Kay's father seven years ago. Which was then stolen by Callisto Yu. She had the same nose. Oh, did she? Yeah, she had the same nose! See, it's what? gotta be her! What?! Mr. Faraday was killed with this key, sir? And, and Kosto used the same nose as Sheena, sir? I thought he was killed with the knife! And I thought they had big nose! Ah! Scruffy, at the very least, try to remember the details of the crimes that you were a suspect in! Franziska, as you will recall, Detective Gumshoe was not present when Miss Yu made her escape. Plus, even among law enforcement, only a few knew of the key's existence. I doubt that a new rookie at the time would have been made privy to such information. Ugh. I feel like the victim right now, all trampled on, sir! Hm. I suppose I'll just have to fill you in now. The secret to this key is... Wait, if you show this to the ambassador, he's gonna be like, "Ooh!" and then, like, take the key. This is cool. This is awesome. Oh, -ho! wow, that's amazing, sir! It's like some kind of magic trick! Yadagarasu's key data jotted down in the organizer. Right, right. I knew it. This is the same exact piece of evidence that Miss Yu took with her. I remember this beautiful pattern in the blade. I remember this as well. It's a vine motif, isn't it? Yes, it looks like the two interwoven vines crisscrossing down the blade. Vines, sirs? I think it looks like a bunch of stars, if you ask me. It's one of those six-sided stars, just like the police mark on our IDs. I really don't think you can call these stars. To say that the detective's art sense is underdeveloped would be an understatement. The real question is, why was the ba Babalese... Babalese... <laughs> the real question is, why was the Babalese embassy's secretary at holding this? While we don't know how Mr. Cochin came to possess this key, we do know that this was stolen by the Yadagarasu from the Kodopian embassy. That's right. 
Mr. Faraday had written that fact down in his organizer. I believe this means that further research is required into this country of Codopia. Why don't you ask Ambassador Paulino about what he knows? Supposedly, he was a candidate to be the next Codopian amb ambassador once long ago. He should be able to answer any specific questions you may have. Well, sweet. What about the blood? <laughs> His face. Manny Cochin, what an ugly face. <laughs> no, the blood. It's a knife wound. It's obvious what he was killed with, but I wonder if it's consistent with the wound. Indeed. Oh, that's it? Oh, that was kind of boring. I thought he was holding Manny something in his hand. Coaching. Manny well, coaching. we'll know if we examine Talk everything. Talk to the weirdo. Oh, okay, we already got everything. I already checked this area earlier, but I never noticed to take another look. Talk to the people. Wait, here goes another. <laughs> Wait, walk back. Walk back. Someone's taking, He's taking his, his senior, senior photos. photos. <laughs> He's not even making the pose like, look at me. He looks Except like... the guy's taking photos of his butt, which is... No, it's like above. It's not his butt. It's of his head. Oh, it looks like they're angled that way. Mm, oh, no. Alright, well, still. Kay's like, can you help me out here? He's still sweating. He's always sweating. Ambassador Peleno, I was wondering if I may ask you about Codopia. Codopia? Alright, what would you like to talk about? First, I'd like to ask you about this key. Hmm, what about this key? I found it sticking out of Mr. Cochin's pocket. I believe it originally belonged to this embassy, is that correct? Hmm, upon closer inspection it seems that this key is shaped like a butterfly. But that's not all about this key, it's also capable of changing into a knife. He's like, oh! oh! How fascinating! Is it possible that the ambassador didn't know about the existence of this key? It's been gone for a while. Hmm, in its knife form there is a flower mark at the base of the blade. Hmm. I guess this knife might be from when we used to be a part of Codopia. And how did you come to that conclusion? It has both of Codopia's national symbols, the butterfly and the flower. I suppose Manny used this key here at this embassy back when we were still Codopia. Oh, maybe she took the key from him when Manny Coach was like, Hey babe, you wanna- Oh. Come no, on. no, the key was stuck in Faraday's body. Yeah, but what I'm saying is back in the day when Callisto Yu was like, Oh, the key, I know how this key... Or no, she didn't know how the key worked. No, and she then, didn't. Then she grabbed the key and she was like, Aha! Idiots! Basically. Ambassador Plano, this key was stolen from the Codopian Embassy seven years ago. She's like, so? <laughs> by Callisto Yu, otherwise known as the Great Thief Yanagarasu. Uh, oh, really? You were not aware that Miss Yu had broken into this embassy at that time? I'm sorry I can't be of much help. I'm not very familiar with the details, you see. I only became the ambassador after Babal became its own independent nation. But if Manny were still alive, he would probably know what happened back then. Mr. Cochin and Miss Yu knew each other seven years ago. But that doesn't explain why I found the Yadagarasu's key here in the present. I would be like, call a fae, but I think Edgeworth would never believe in no, he wouldn't. the spirit mediums if he was still in this time. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm uh, uh, sorry, but Interpol still conducting its investigation beyond this point. I think you sound a little too old to be getting senior photos, sir. I'm a subordinate of Miss Von Karma. Is there some reason why I'm being denied access? My superior clearly stated, don't you let anyone near the site, you got it? Besides, I'm getting photos of my butt taken. <laughs> 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 if I let you examine the site, my superior would get really angry at me. You know, Mr. Edgeworth, I feel really bad for this guy, so why don't we do as he says? <laughs> First, I suppose we might as well. Oh, talk to the other dude. I can't, he's blocking the way. Oh, I gotta get pictures of the senior photo. That's the forensics guy. A small personal safe. This was Mr. Cochin's office. So perhaps he stored his most important documents in here. Ah, oh, of course it's locked. It appears we won't be able to open it without the key. What if the... That key or, or logic. Francisca's Mochi. never heard of it either. Locked safe. With the key at the memasty. <laughs> Andrew's just like <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> we know for a fact that the Yadagarasu's key was used at this embassy. Furthermore, we found it in the victim Mr. Cochin's pocket. Which leads me to think that perhaps it is the key used to the personal safe in this office. Good thinking, sir. Let's go and try it out. Doesn't work. 
It appears I was correct. The key that was left to us in the victim's pocket. It literally turned out to be the key to the next piece of the truth. Hmm, what do we have here? Hey! There's nothing inside! D do you think the Yadagarasu made off with everything, of sir? No, detective, I believe all we need is a closer look. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Wow. What is this here? It looks like the ripped corner of a piece of paper, sir. No, I don't think it's ripped. Seems to me like it's stuck in the safe. Hey, you're right! I won't budge an inch, not even when I tug on it! But I don't think I've ever seen paper stuck on the inside of a safe before. Detective, I think you have it backwards. It's not the paper that's strange. It's the safe. What do you mean? What I mean is that the secret to this safe is that it has two compartments, it's completely empty, it has a crack here. Two compartments. Even just eyeballing it, you can see that the inside is a little bit too shallow. Furthermore, with the unnatural way the paper is stuck at the back of the safe, I'd say that there is an extra bit of space behind the back wall of this safe. In other words, this safe has a second compartment. Wh what? I suppose that you are correct in asserting that the paper is stuck in an unnatural manner. However, if what you say is correct and there's a second compartment, how do we go about opening the door to it then? As you can see, there's no other lock or keyhole in sight. Actually, there is one more spot of interest to me on this safe. Oh? Yes, and I believe this spot is the keyhole to our myth of mystery of the second lock. The safe and its locks. Alright then, since you're so sure of yourself, show me how you deduced your answer. Is it the weird little thingamajig, uh, the, the dots at the bottom? Eh, no, that, that's where they screwed in the bolts from the Ikea safe. Oh, dang it. Um, maybe the star? It's a star. Hey, there's a hole here, sir. It's a little bit too oddly shaped for a latch hole. Wow, that's a funny shape for a latch hole, huh? It's shaped kind of like a star, don't you think, sir? Detective, I would hardly call that shape a star. There must be some reason for this hole. Well, there's got to be some reason why the hole's shaped so weirdly, you know? Am I overthinking this? No, I don't think so. Hmm, maybe I'm overthinking things. Nah, there's no way I could ever do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Detective Gumshoe, could you please be quiet for a second? You're frightening me. So you think it's that? Mm-hmm. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Well, it'd be connected to the... Key, right? There was the thing on the key? Otherwise... Yeah, well, Eureka. Doesn't the shape of this keyhole remind you of something, Francesca? The shape? It does look very familiar. However, I believe it's simply a latch hole for the safe's lock mechanism. It's just for keeping the door shut. Nothing more. That's a lot of hold -its. Is that so? The person who used this safe? Mr. Cochin made sure the safe had two compartments in order to hide something. Do you honestly think someone like that would allow the keyhole to the hidden half? To look so obviously like a keyhole that even the average person could figure it out? You can't be serious! Are you saying that this hole is the keyhole to the hidden compartment of the safe? That's precisely what I'm saying. And I will prove to you right now that the Yadagarasu's key is the key that will open it. Objection. The Yadagarasu's key? Miles Edgeworth, this had better be a very bad joke! Sorry, but this is no joke. The Yadagarasu's key is the very key that will open the second compartment of the safe. We know that this key opens the first compartment of the safe. But the keyhole you're talking about is of an entirely different shape than that of the key! flip a dip a doo Oh my gosh, I would not have thought of that. Oh, you wouldn't have? No. I thought we had to reverse it back to the knife and stab the knife in. This is the knife. Oh, okay. Maybe. So you had it right. Let's go over this again, shall we? The Yadagarasu's key was originally made to open Mr. Cochin's safe in the Kodopian Embassy. I just realized, maybe... Is the person in the background not K, but actually Callisto U? No, that's K. That's K? Okay. With the long hair. Yeah. Yeah, from left to right, it's Lane, Franziska, Edgeworth, Edgeworth. K, Gumshoe. Gumshoe. Mm -hmm. We confirmed that as fact by opening the door to his safe with it. <laughs> you don't like Lane. He's like Star Wolf. 
you're not really excited to see them. <laughs> Star Wolf's great! Uh, they're great when they have a good theme. Like in Assault, when he sounds like the... That's just Star Wolf's theme but, in all the games. No, but it's like slower and he sounds like menacing. Oh, okay. The first one, it's really fast. Now let's take a look at the back end of the key. Looking at the knife portion head on, what do you see? What are you talking- ah! She stabbed herself. It appears that you've come to understand what I'm talking about. When viewed head on, the knife's blade is the exact same shape as the keyhole. The real function of the knife portion is to act as the key to this hidden portion of the safe. Or you could have called Sora. He could open it. But, but that's preposterous! How did I know she was going to say preposterous? Because it's a Francis giving to say. <laughs> because it looks like a knife and it was used like one to kill Mr. Faraday seven years ago, we fell under the misconception that it was always meant to be a knife. But for both the safe and its key to conceal such clever tricks, whatever is hidden inside the secret section must be of incredible importance. Then, it's even possible that what I've been searching for is inside. Scruffy, hurry and open up the safe! Yeek! Yes, sir! Copening it now, sir! Copening? <laughs> These items, there. It's a bunch of funny-shaped things. I guess they're pieces of art, huh, sir? You're in the way! Now move it, Scruffy! I didn't think I was in the way! <laughs> These pieces of art... They're identical to the ones that I've been s that, that I've been <laughs> stolen! <laughs> that I've stolen! <laughs> She flies a lot, no. They're identical to the ones that have been stolen from various countries around the world. Whoa, I've never seen her look... Ugh. What? Oh. <laughs> I've never seen her look like that before. She looks actually really sad and scared. I figured as much. These are the treasures this section of the safe was... To, uh, <laughs> I had the same problem. <laughs> These are the treasures this section of the safe was to hide from view. Hmm? I believe a more thorough examination is required. This is basically Sue Ellen like, stealing the art. <laughs> <laughs> It is like Suan stealing art. These are pieces of stolen art from around the world. I wonder how they're much they're worth, especially this one. Yee! Scruffy, don't touch those valuable pieces of art with your filthy hands! Why do you have any idea what would happen to you if one of them were to break? Is it just me or did she hit one of the pieces of art just now? This is the document that we found was stuck earlier. I wonder what it's about. Beats me, sir! Why don't we take a look at it first before we give up, Detective? Mr. Cochin's name is written here on the last page. An assorted blitz? I wonder what the significance of this document is. That's what it looks like it says. Uh, uh, but, but, uh, uh, we couldn't put it in our... What? What? We can't examine it anymore? I want to know what... Maybe we can later. I want to know what assorted blitz was. I think it's written in a different language. I'm sure it is, but that's what it looks like. To build this sort of trick into one's safe is really something. Yeah, it's neat how this safe has two compartments, but what's really impressive is that at the other end of the key was another key! I totally hadn't noticed! I wonder if Mr. Cochin was just paranoid, or if he had secrets of a greater value. Speaking of paranoid, I once sharpened both ends of my pencil. But then when I was about to erase something, I got all paranoid that I was going to stab myself. Please refrain from dispensing your not special brand of unrelated stories while on duty. He was that kid in high school. Yes, sir. I was that kid in high school. Ugh. Oh, gold. These, oh, wait. It's the same stuff, but we... Ruffy! Oh, she... Whoa, she, like, broke it. Yeah, you <laughs> can hear the crack of that whip. Yeah. Crack of that whip. Uh, logic? Maybe? Logic. <sighs> gotta think about it. Motif on the knife handle. Francis is return. Don't think... I don't well, think so. Well, what about the secret? Why was she here when she was supposed to be overseas and pursued the smuggling ring? That doesn't really connect to either of these. I guess so, yeah. Have we examined everything here? <laughs> Apparently we have not. Sorry. Um, let's inspect the papers again. Let's look at the stain on the floor. Oh wait, hang on. Uh, Is this separate? No. Nope. What the heck? We can look at the top. Yeah, just like walk around. Look around, look around. Yeah. I thought we examined everything. Maybe we have to examine the keyhole again. Oh, maybe. Good, good thinking, Toad. Thank you. It appears that we found the key that the Yadagarasu, no, Miss Yu stole seven years ago. 
Since it was originally from this embassy, maybe she came back to return it? I don't think she's the type to be so kind as to do such a thing, Detective. Um, okay, then what do you think, sir? Callisto, you. See? Same nose, same size. Different lips, different eyes, different eyebrows. You can have eye surgery. Eyebrows are super easy to fix. And look, her lips would be the same if she wasn't just like, ugh, all the time. And they're a bit different. She also has freckles. Okay, freckles you can cover up with makeup. There's a reason why a lot of girls wear makeup. Because they're like, ew, my freckles. Ew. Exactly is that. that. Is that why? That's not always why. Some girls cover up acne. Some are like, my freckles are gross. I'm like, freckles are fine, whatever. <laughs> and then, yeah. Callisto you. for what reason did she steal the key? That's, um, that's it? That's it, bro? We'll go back out and then look again and see. I want some spit. Oh, what the heck? There's still more. Um, the door. I already examined the door. The other door. Uh, maybe the latch on the other door. Nothing. Nothing. No. Wow. Yeah. I just keeps whipping the art. Maybe we need to examine the specific little notches on the inner door. I already did that. Oh. But hey! Why is this so difficult? Maybe maybe we haven't examined something else, and then when we examine something else, something will come up. Examine the fire place? So the fire I can't. I don't place. think so. The grand fog. No. Present something there? Would you mind not pointing that in my direction? It's dangerous. And anyway, why are you showing this to me? I have no particular reason. Gah! If you have no reason, don't you bring that dangerous object near me! Do you understand? Is she really that oblivious to the irony in that statement? She lets loose that dangerous whip of hers for no reason all the time. I wish that there was something we could show her to prove- Okay, here's the thing, we need to be able to use logic so we can prove that she's here for some reason. Because she has that thing like, why is Francis here? Okay, so you think well, that and the stealing secret? Yes, but like, I thought that there'd be something we could present to her that would be... Oh, those connect apparently. To steal your dirtiest secret. Is it possible that the dirty secret the Autograssi was out to steal is in this very room? Dirty secret? Francisca, you're in pursuit of some dirty, underhanded dealings yourself, are you not? Something tells me that this is no coincidence. In that case, then, the person I'm looking for is here in the Babalese Embassy, huh? The head of the smuggling operation. I think I just might need to ask Francisca about her smuggling gotcha. case in more depth. Nice job, Murdy. Let's just connect the one thing. <laughs> the one thing, logic. Think. Francisca, when we last talked, you said you were on the trail of a smuggling ring. I suppose the reason you are here right now is related to that? Yes. After analyzing the intel we gathered from various countries, this embassy rose to the top of our list of sites to investigate. And this is what tipped us off. This accounting document. There is a second page! That's right, because the other one had page one and page three. Oh. It's only one page of the whole thing, so we're not really sure about all the details. However, it's enough for us to grab onto the tail of the beast. For you see, this type of paper was made only in the kingdom of Kodopia. Which means that somewhere in the countries of Albast and Babal is the head. The one pulling the strings behind this entire smuggling ring. It's probably not the guy who's smiling all the time. It couldn't be him. That's Francisca for you. She's amazing, pursuing this case with all that she has. Yeah. I got this. Fair no wonder we weren't taking it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My apologies. Alright, so we now, now if we, we examine this, papers. it'll- Oh, we, now we can deduce. Take a good look at these documents, Francisca. It says that there are three pages in total, and yet there are only two here. Correct. Now take a look at the smuggling activity document in your possession. Tell me, is it not possible that your page was taken from this set of three? Well, well. It certainly looks that way. By putting our multi-part puzzle together, we seem to have arrived at an answer. Whoa, A plus E times B? 
Ubi. Then, well, it looks like that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, eight comma um, hashtag eight. And it seems that type you my. have now found what you were looking for. Oh, type my. Yes, and with this, it has become crystal clear that Mr. Cochin himself was responsible for the mass smuggling of Bobbley's Ink. Bobbley's Ink? <clears throat> Bobbley's Ink is a special product of the Republic of Babal. <laughs> However, due to a special reason, only limited volume is ever exported. Sorry for my throat. <laughs> and, that reason, and that reason is... That's classified. It's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. In any case, it seems that the head of the smuggling ring was our victim, Mr. Manny Cochin. His base was in an embassy, thus it was hard for both our country and his to interfere. Making it the ideal conditions under which to run a smuggling operation. Yeah, I knew it was terrible. Ugh, it's so frustrating. I lost the person I was to rain judgment upon with my whip of ju- <laughs> jet I lost the person I was trying to rain judgment down upon with my whip of justice. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Stewart wasn't able to do that with her. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> well, even if he is dead, we still have a responsibility to look into his misdeeds. You expect me to whip a dead man? Well, I'm not interested. Francisca, you must know that Manny Cochin was the suspect in the KG-8 incident. Of course I know. On top of being the head of the smuggling ring, there is the matter of what really happened in that case that needs to be resolved. Well, we probably inspected everything. I hope so. Good. Finally. I already checked this area, so I won't check it again. Um, we represent... That's some fireplace! You know, it really gives this place a mansion-like quality, don't you think, sir? Ooh! If there are if there's if these are a staple in every Bobbley's house, then I bet Santa Claus pays them a visit too. Just how old are you again, Detective? Oh. Well, he lives in an apartment. He doesn't have to check. Da, 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 I just realized. Da, 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 I wonder da, 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 if there's kids who. Da, 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 da. Ugh! You just phased through him. Um, I wonder if there's kids who like. Francisco, we want to play. <laughs> I wonder if there's kids in like that grow up in apartments that are like Santa won't visit us because we don't have a chimney. Oh, I never thought about that. I wonder. Before. I hey, never bro. had to worry about that. Oh, you got nothing. He's like, <laughs> Hey, bro. <laughs> I can't believe that Bobbley's ink was being used in such an evil scheme. And if people were to find out, that would really tarnish the global image of Babal. Uh, this is really bad. Really, really bad. Ooh, Babal's in a bind now. <sighs> Is it just me, or do his words not match his facial expressions? Uh-huh. Maybe he was in charge of the smuggling ring, too, and then Francis is like, ah And then they fly out of there. I don't know. Hey, bro. What's, hey, what bro. about this? We were able to finally obtain this proof of the smuggling operation through Interpol. So remember to take extra care when handling it, my subordinate. <sighs> She's enjoying the power trip of her calling me subordinate just a tad too much. I, I get that. I'm the youngest sibling. If I was like, ooh, I'm in charge of this. It's like if mom was like, hey, Marty, you're in charge of Marty. I'd be like, even if I wouldn't like do anything dumb. I'd just be like, oh, that's fun. I need to be in charge. She's like choking K. Yeah, I know. Seriously, Callisto, you would do that too, wouldn't you? <laughs> You just will not let this go. It's gotta be her! Oh, wait, can I examine the desk? Sometimes I'm dead right. I didn't want to examine the body. I wanted to examine the desk. Hell, no. No. <laughs> I need I'm to making water! I need to get back there. Please. Yeah, it looks like a robot arm crashed through the window. Yes, sir. Look at that. What do you notice about this piece of evidence, Detective? Um, well, uh, I don't really sense anything special about it, but the embassy is a different story. I see. <sighs> I'm not really sensing anything special from you either, sir. Well, I'm sensing, sensing a special look at your monthly salary, detective. So, we can't present profiles to people? Nope. That's a problem. Um, maybe we can, can we just examine- Can we just Oh, we've already done all this. Alright, doggone it. We could check the wall with the butterfly on it. Hey! 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 It's another butterfly! I believe it is the symbol of the Republic of Babal. That's it. That's what we had to do. Logic! A drawing this big on the wall of an embassy. It definitely conveys a sense of overwhelming patriotism. See, in this in this case right now, I'm currently the one that's finding a lot of the crap. 
Yeah, because I yeah. don't remember this case very well. Oh, okay. Well, I've got a lot of patriotism too, sir. The reason I became a cop in the first place was because I wanted to protect our country. Ugh, look at his eyes on the top screen right now. Or his lack of eyes. No, he, it looks like he has like, if he got punched in the eye and so his eyes just like one big bulge. Or two what? big bulges. Are you looking at- Gumshoe. Yeah. Eye there, eye there. Yeah, but it's like, it looks like there's the line on the bottom and then it's like, boink, I guess. Like, you may like want to, detective. However, I have yet to see the fruits of your desire. You don't have to be so blunt about it, sir. I just realized me and Francisca have the same boots. Do you now? Yeah, they're like the, like, caught at the ankle, like, black hmm. cute boots. The design of the knife's handle, it greatly resembles the special Babali species of butterfly. It does, doesn't it? Plus, it says right here. This knife is property of the Republic of Law. We knew this, but we had to do logic just to be like, Did logic. you know that the beast, beast hates birds for some, some reason? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps this means that the knife used in the crime was found right in this room. Yes! It's like, oh look, there's a knife that's missing from this rack, and there's a knife over there, and it has the symbol of the, like, ba ball. Nope! <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> Oh my gosh, this, yeah, that's why the game is so difficult, because it's like you have to use logic for all this basic Invest stuff. Invest complete. Are you done investigating? You really, you realize now, no, <laughs> you realize now, don't you, that this girl's the only one it could be? Now come along quietly, Yadagarasu. K Farde. You're under arrest for the murder of Manny Cochin. Mr. Edgeworth! Please, you have to believe me! I didn't do it! I chased the fake Yadagarasu in here! And he... He was already... You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. I'd like to help you reduce the number of mistaken arrests Interpol they, makes. Look, <laughs> she not even makes the same pose as her. She's got the hand on the hip like, mmm. Callisto, you has that exact same pose. Well, have lots of people have the same pose. With the mmm, with the hip out. That's like a sassy pose. <laughs> it's like the what? sassy woman, mmm, you girl. See, you don't see what? Why heart does make that pose? She, she does not. Yeah, she does. That's her normal pose. You no, know when she's standing, she's like, mmm. A lot of hard head does like the double sassy oh, pose. Oh, but it's but it's two. Yeah, there it's two. You don't see like old bag with that and pose. There's no way that two different people can make the same pose at some part of their life. It's lives. a video game. <laughs> they have very specific generated <laughs> animation that will make them look different from other characters. What is that supposed to mean? I believe I told you that Kay Faraday is not the culprit in this crime. Very well. I suppose I have no choice. I'll show you just how foolish your claims are. Why arrest K? Even your police confirmed that the Yanagarasu infiltrated the Babali's embassy tonight. She's basically Mirage, but Russian. <laughs> yeah! I love Mirage! She's my favorite character from The Incredibles! Really? Yeah, I was sad she, uh, her voiceover actress died in oh, the first. Did? That's why she's not in the second one. And it would be hard to put her in also the second one. Also, it would be hard to put her in the second one, because, yeah. yeah. Utilizing the con... <laughs> this is like... We're taking a break after you finish Yeah, reading, this is right. me trying to record anything I've noticed now. Is I'll, like, start a sentence and be like, <laughs> Okay, well, one more time. And then I have to go back again and edit, and it's fun. Utilizing the confusion caused by fire, the Yadagarasu snuck into this embassy. Furthermore, this girl claims to be the Yadagarasu. And most importantly, other than her, there was no one else in here with the body. <sighs> Your reason for suspecting Kay is because you think she's the Yadagarasu? Exactly. But it isn't just me. She calls herself the Yadagarasu. Ugh! Look, how many times do I have to tell you? I was only out to capture the fake Yadagarasu! Imposter or not, it matters not. Ugh. What is up with her face? Now she looks like an inkling. <laughs> I think it's the eyes combined with. And now look, she's got the same lips. Now no, she doesn't. Yes, she does. She's the. Uh... She has like no upper lip. Yeah, because there's Calisto, no. Calisto, you has two like two very big like. Mm. Artie, she's wearing lipstick. Yeah, on she's her not... lips. Yeah, but when you don't wear. Show lipstick... me her top lip right it's now. Right. 
there. You see that? Barely. Yeah, when and you Callisto's don't... is very much more She different. always puts on lipstick and she's like, ooh. So She'll lipstick magically makes her lip bigger. In this lighting, you can see that like everything's kind of whited out. It totally makes sense. Here's the thing. <laughs> I just want to see how far you will take Here's this. Here's the thing. I'm either going to be dead wrong about this, <laughs> and you're going to laugh your head off, or I'm going to be I'm already dead laughing about this. right, <laughs> and I'm going to be so happy when I am. When you are, you know it is. <laughs> I don't know that it is, but it's so perfect. It has to be. Like, it's one of, to the point where I'm like, who else would she be? I mean, Cochin, she's, he's dead. I told you, Melisto Mew. <laughs> it's now. I will be really bad if she appears just like with sunglasses or like, I don't know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> or she like dyes her hair. Actually, color. she is Ambassador Polino. <laughs> she got the sex change surgery. <laughs> uh, no. Imposter or not, it matters not. A Yadagarasu is a Yadagarasu. Very well. Then I shall prove that Kay is not the Yadagarasu who killed Mr. Manny Cochin. Go ahead and try. Show me what the prosecutors of this country are made of. I just want rebuttal with an emphasis. I just on want like it to be like a Velma, like let's see who the real culprit was, and you pull off her wig, and she's like, Winner. it was Don Powder in disguise the whole time. Exactly. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, we're gonna probably cut a lot of that out because it was a lot of just like, where do we go now? Where do we go now? Where do we? Do you know that song? I can't remember that. Well, who does it? Tune in next time. <laughs> we'll see if Marty keeps uh, going on with the theory or not. I'm, or if we'll I'm meet dead Molesto set right you. now. Molesto you. <laughs> Molesto you. Tune in for that next time. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.